Welcome to Castanet Penticton's Mayor's Minute. I'm Colin Dacre, joined here by the Mayor, Andrew Jacobay. Hello. So on Tuesday, City Council here voted to end its licensing program for a pair of marijuana dispensaries operating in the city. Um, now I just get you to explain to me what has changed from six months ago when you guys granted that license. So we uh, offered two temporary use permits uh, for cannabis dispensaries uh, in Penticton uh, last December. And I think it was sort of a, an in-between step in hopes that the uh, federal government would sort of unveil more details around uh, their commitment to uh, legalizing uh, marijuana. And, uh, you know, there are some other sort of uh, test cases that were in other communities that were sort of uh, broached in that time. And, and so, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, the Prime Minister is still saying uh, the sale of medical marijuana. The sale of marijuana is, is illegal and uh, it's uh, for the RCMP to enforce and that's not to be allowed and uh, really uh, we looked at it from a city to say um, uh, mitigating some of our uh, liability uh, around uh, condoning uh, what is uh, at this present time considered illegal um, and also aligning with what is happening outside uh, uh, other areas uh, up and down the valley. We looked at um, enforcement, uh, and obviously uh, uh, enforcement of that is, is an RCMP issue. And, and earlier this spring, RCMP sent out a letter saying, uh, this is illegal, you should cease and desist. And they sent it to the three that are operating, the two that have the temporary use permits, and one that is, is in the pr uh, process of def defying that. And really, we can't have the RCMP sort of arbitrarily decide, uh, well, enforce rules over here, but not over there. And, and so this makes it consistent in terms of uh, injunctive action or for the RCMP to enforce. So I think that was part of the, uh, also part of the rationale. So you guys are pushing them to apply for a business license as a wellness center. Um, now there are plenty of dispensaries around the province that operate as a wellness center. Um, so is this just a way of the city kind of washing their hands of it and letting the letting the RCMP deal with it? Or is the city actually going to be active in trying to enforce at all? Well, um, you know, uh, when uh, the dispensary owners were talking to us, they talked a lot about their uh, clientele being older and, and having access to medical marijuana. And I think part of a wellness center is the ability to consult. And, and so someone who, who wants to try some sort of... Uh, cannabinoid or, or, or marijuana to uh, ease pain or, or help with any of their symptoms, uh, they're still there to consult to kind of help narrow down what, uh, what would best work for them and navigate the, the, the process that exists right now to obtain uh, marijuana products. Um, if a wellness center wants to defy uh, their consent order, which they would be consenting that they uh, can have uh, marijuana paraphernalia, but they can't actually sell uh, marijuana, uh, if they wanted to defy that, well, then uh, yes, uh, bylaw would enforce, and, and also the police would enforce. And, and again, uh, what we set in place is, is consistent up and down the valley, and also for the RCMP, consistent for them uh, to enact enforcement. Um, about six months ago, when you handed out these licenses, you had as many as seven opening up. Um, that was the whole reason behind it was to kind of try to control these. So, what are you guys going to do if, uh, let's say, two more open up on Main Street? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Well, they are uh, a wellness center. Is is a uh, a legitimate business? Well, so they, a wellness center. Yeah. Right? Still well, selling. we don't look at that as as air quotes. You know, okay. it is it is something for the RCMP to enforce, and uh, the level of enforcement that's perhaps the best uh, question best answered by Superintendent Diager. Uh, but is our expectation uh, that uh, those uh, wellness centers are to operate as a wellness center to consult, help consult for people that are coming in there and to uh, help lobby for uh, marijuana legislation, that sorts of things. If they want to defy that, uh, there, there will be enforcement. Have you heard f from the uh, local detachment, the new uh, commander, that he's interested in actually enforcing? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, again, probably a best uh, question best answered by them. And uh, they have uh, Policing priorities and, and how that fits in the priorities, or, or they, you know, one week do a, a, a random blitz and, and see where that is, or bylaw does random blitzes. Um, it's probably going to take a couple months before to, that we transition to those consent orders and get everything in place. So uh, 
the status quo is probably still going to exist for a month or two and then it'll, it'll shift into uh, a wellness center concept and that allows those operations to get their foot in the door so when uh, federal and provincial legislation changes uh, they already have a clientele that's uh, that they've been helping. All right, perfect. That was this week's Mayor's Minute. If you have a question you'd like to submit to the mayor, you can send, to, send it to letters at castanet.net. I'm Colin Baker. Until next time. Read letters to the editor in our letters section under the opinion button in the yellow masthead. Email your letters to letters at castanet.net.